Ohayo mina, genki! I'm really excited to do this video today because we're gonna learn Japanese with Tifa. Tifa is my favorite character in the Final Fantasy VII franchise. She is the one um, who spends most of her time uh, caring about others and taking care of them. Um, she will also give everything uh, for them to help them. And that's like a character that you really never forget. Um, I would say in Japanese that she is um, a caring woman. So I would say Tifa wa omoi yari no aru jose desu. So Tifa wa omoi yari no aru jose desu. Okay? So omoi yari it means compassion, caring. And then you have no aru. So no is a particle. Aru it means um, to have. So omoi yari no aru means to be caring compassionate. Tifa wa omoi yari no aru jose desu. Alright, so now let's see our first phrase from Tifa. Igai da na. Cloud ko na koto suru nda. Igai da na. Cloud ko na koto suru nda. So here Tifa expresses how surprised she is the fact that Cloud is giving her a flower. So that's like really unusual attitude from Cloud, okay? <laughs> so that's why she's surprised. So we have Igai. Igai means unexpected, uh, surprising. Then we have Konna koto. So Konna koto it means this thing. Konna, this, koto, thing. Suru is the verb to do. Okay, so this is like a really important verb, suru. And then we have the n, surunda, right? <laughs> so the n, we, we saw it previously and probably many times because they use it all the time, is uh, to emphasize something or to, uh, to ex explain something. So here she wants to emphasize the fact that she's surprised. Uh, by his attitude, okay? Um, so the whole phrase is Right? So that means how surprising coming from you. Alright, <laughs> let's continue with the next phrase. Alright, so here Tifa says, Mitsuketa erisu. Right, so here it's a very easy one. Um, so we have the verb mitsukeru, that means to find. Um, and then it's transformed as mitsuketa. So mitsuketa is the familiar past tense. If it was um, the formal past tense, it would be mitsukemashita. Right? But in uh, the family way, they make it shorter, which is mitsuketa. So erisu is uh, eris, yeah? So here uh, you might uh, wonder, because in English it would be translated as we found you, eris. You might wonder why um, there is no pronoun in Japanese, yeah? I think I told you in another video that in Japanese they don't they don't use uh, they don't use um, pronoun that much uh, only if it's very es essential. But following the context, we know um, so you don't see it in the video. But it's Cloud and Tifa looking for Aerith, so it is we found you, right? But they don't need to say it in Japanese. It's not essential. <laughs> Not so like in uh, English that we always put it. They don't use it. Um, so here Tifa she just say uh, the verb uh, to find. Found you kind of. <laughs> Found you, Eris, 
見つけたエアリス So in this next passage, it's, it's quite a funny one, <laughs>、um, is uh, Tifa uh, who is reacting to Barrett who's talking to himself、uh, at that moment.、Um, so let's see what, what she's saying, how she reacts. <laughs> right, so she says, Barrett, いきなりどうしたの Right, so Barrett. Barretto means. Uh, uh, ba ba Barretto is Barret, right? It's his name. Okay. Ikinari. Ikinari means suddenly. Okay, that's a good word to, to know. Ikinari. Suddenly. Do s h t a n o So, do s h t a n o also very useful. <laughs> do s h t a n o is like,、um, what's the matter with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> so they translate it as、um, who are you talking to, right?、Um, but she says something like Barrett, what, what's wrong all of a sudden, right? Okay, so I'm gonna repeat it, repeat it again. Barrett, いきなりどうしたの Da gara! Barrett, いきなりどうしたの So here we have an angry Tifa, Tifa power. Tifa when she's mad. It really means that there's something really wrong happening. <laughs> so let's watch it. Senbu dai kirai. Senbu dai kirai. So here,、uh, really simple, right?、Um, maybe most of you know what she means.、Um, please let me know in the comments if, if for you, you like, to, to see your level.、Um, I think this. This is like an easy one if you, if you know some Japanese, right? So, Zenbu, Dai Kirai, right? So, Zenbu,、um, Zenbu means everything. Everything. Zenbu. All, everything, okay? Dai Kirai. So, Kirai means、uh, to hate. So, when you say Kirai, it's already a very strong word.、Um, If you say that you hate someone,、um, it, you know, it's, it, it's quite. It hurts, right? <laughs> so, kirai is already powerful. Dai kirai. So, dai is、uh, the kanji of oki, which is,、uh, it means big. So, dai can be.、Um, dai means it intensifies it, so it's even more, right? Dai kirai, I absolutely hate you, right? So, Uh, I don't know, like a word in English for that.、Uh, yes, I found a detestable.、Uh, let me know if、uh, it's <laughs> more than hate.、Uh, probably, I don't know.、Um, but yeah, dai kirai.、Uh, dai ski, right? Dai ski is、uh, I absolutely love you. <laughs> ski is, is love like, love like, yeah?、Uh, dai, when there's dai in front, is really I love. Very much. <laughs> so, dai ski. But she says dai kirai here, right? Zenbu dai kirai. So, it's, it's interesting to see、uh, here how in English they translated it. So, they say,、uh, I'm sick of all of this, which is quite a good、uh, expression in English to say、uh, zenbu dai kirai, right? So, you can see here that in Japanese, most of the time it's like, Very simple words that they are using to express their emotions. That's what, what, what I've noticed.、Um, very simple words,、uh, but they are also very powerful. Zenbu dai kirai, right? So here she's absolutely having enough. <laughs> Strong words. Zenbu dai kirai. Okay, so here s the last one. <laughs> So the last one is、um, yeah, Tifa asking Cloud if he wants to eat. It's quite a, a nice,、uh, nice one at the end. Also, a very useful one、uh, for beginners. Okay, so let's watch it. So she says, So here, very easy. So. 
so soda <laughs> it's not soda right <laughs> soda is it's like all right um i almost forgot <laughs> that's what it means is uh, um, an expression so gohan its first um, meaning is rice right uh, but it also means and most of the time we use it like this um it's for meal it means a meal gohan right taberu taberu means um to eat okay taberu to eat so that's like uh, the verb uh, as itself soda gohan taberu so here she's like making it very familiar to ask a question <laughs> So she, she doesn't even put the card in, and it's just taberu. Like she, she uses like the voice that goes up like that to make it as a uh, question. So I would translate it as, would you like to eat something? Like, all oh, right, would you like to eat something? So as like, oh, I almost forgot, like, would you like something to eat, right? Okay, so soda, gohan taberu. Soda! Alright, that's all for today guys. I hope that you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and tell me in the comments also um, if you found it easy. I think that Tifa's phrases that I chose are very easy. Um, but if you're a beginner, let me know because I can try to make more easier phrases for you or I can make more complex ones. So let, let me know. I, I would love to know. <laughs> we'll see you next time guys. Jenny.